everybody welcome to another affinity photo tutorial my first one for 2023 we're going to do a composite sort of a sea creature scene today so as usual let's get started i'm starting off with a black background that was just file new and i picked this social media 1920 by 1080 and i just filled the back of that with black so i've got this black starting point we're going to go through all of these layers here and you can see that I've got all my layers in place and I've named all of my layers. So the first thing I'm going to turn on is the stars here and you can see that this covered the whole layer. I'm going to change the opacity on that to 25% because I only want to see sort of the slight stars here. The next picture that I'm going to turn on is the sky, moon and clouds. I'm just going to turn that on and change the blend mode to screen. You can probably see that we've got some stars over the top of the clouds and in front of the moon. So I'll take care of that straight away. We'll come back onto our stars layer, make sure we're on our erase brush and we'll just erase any of those stars that are in front, especially on our moon here, because all of our stars would be behind those clouds. So let's just do that nice and quickly. There we go. So we've got that all set. The next picture that I've got here is a picture of the ocean and I've just cut the sky out of the ocean and I just got the ocean here. So I'm happy with that as it is at the moment. But with this horizon line, what I've got up here is these water splashes and all these cutouts will be made available for you on my Buy Me A Coffee site. So let's just turn these two out and you can see I've stretched them all the way along um, on that horizon. And now I'm just going to just highlight both of those hold my shift key down come up to layer and i'm going to merge select just make one horizon wave at the back here and just name that horizon wave so that's in place so now we can add all of our other little pictures that we're going to add in just so we can have a look and see what the composite is going to look like. So the next picture I'll turn on is, is our boat layer here. And we've got our boat and I've already cut the boat out as you can see as well. And I'm going to add a mask to the boat. So again, let's come down to our mask and add a mask. But on that mask, got our brush. Make sure we've got a soft brush and we're painting in black. Flow of 25%, the opacity can be 100. And let's just make our brush a little bit smaller. And we're just going to sort of go with the wave here on the boat and just sort of put that wave back a little bit. Don't worry too much because we're going to add some waves along the edge of the boat here as well. So we've got that sort of set now. So remember over here I said that I've got these waves. So I'm going to grab on my move tool and I'm going to pick this first wave here. I'm just going to copy it, command C and come over to my boat and I'm going to put it on top of my boat with a command V. Grab my move tool and I'm going to place that along the side of the boat here. I'm going to copy that again, command J, arrange and I'm going to flip this one horizontal and we'll turn that one and we'll bring that alongside the boat here as well. So we're just placing those waves alongside the boat. We might do one more, Command J, and we'll come and make that a little bit smaller and we'll bring that right to the bow of the boat and maybe stretch it up a bit. It's not too bad. We're going to grab this water wave here now, Command C, and we're going to put this one behind the boat. So let's go Command V, we're going to stretch it up a little bit Maybe make it a little bit smaller. And this one's going to just go behind the boat there. You can see now we've got that just behind the boat with that wave splashing up. And that is not looking too bad. So what I'm going to do with those, because we've got all those waves in the boat, just to keep it all tidy, we'll highlight the first one, hold shift, then highlight that. And again, we'll just go layer and merge selected. So we'll just merge all that together. And now we'll just call that boat and wave. So that, that we've got set, the boat is all set in place. Let's add now, let's add up here, let's add our other rowboat and let's add our man as well. So you can see over here, I've got the man and the rowboat, but the man just needs to be masked. I want him to look like he's sort of scrambling onto the boat. So let's add a mask 
onto our man. There we go. Back on our brush, we know we've got a soft brush. We know we're at 25%. We can zoom in a little bit and just move that over. Make our brush a little bit smaller and let's just mask that back in. So he looks like he's trying to scramble aboard that boat there. So let's get that out of the way. There we go. So we've got our man scrambling on to the boat. Let's go back, Command Zero, make that a little bit smaller. And we're going to do some waves along this boat in front of the man as well. So let's do that. Let's grab that water wave again here, Command C. And we're going to put that one in front of the rowboat, Command V. Again, on our move tool, we're going to stretch that all the way up and put that sort of here. Let's put it behind the rowboat there and splash that up quite a bit. Make it a bit bigger so that rowboat is splashing there. What we're going to do is grab another one, one of these long ones, Command C. And we're going to add that along the side of the boat here. So let's go Command V on that one. Let's bring that down the side of the boat. Again, let's make it a lot bigger. Just turn it and let's put that along the side of this boat here just to make sure that that's sort of splashing up off the ocean. About there looks pretty good. So pretty happy with that. Going to leave the man separate, but the boat and the two waves, I'm going to do the same. Go merge, layer, merge, selected. And we'll just call that one rowboat and waves just so we know where everything's at so we've got all that but i want the man just separate okay let's add some of our tentacles now so let's start with this middle one here and add it in so this is where i'm going to have this tentacle here and again i'm going to put a mask on it grabbing our brush and we're just going to make our brush a little bit bigger we're still okay at 25 percent, and we're just going to mask some of that ocean around our tentacle there. So that looks pretty good at the moment. And we're gonna use our splashes again. So back to our water splashes, back to this one again, Command C. And I'm gonna put this one in front, Command V, onto our move tool. Let's move this one down. We can make it a little bit smaller and splash it up a bit. And let's just sort of move that into place about there wherever you think it's going to look the best. So that looks pretty good there. So I'm going to copy that one again, Command J. I'm going to move that one behind this middle tentacle. And we might just go arrange and flip horizontal that just to make it look a little bit different. And then just put that one splashing up in the background there. About there it looks pretty good. And I'm happy with that. So what we're going to do again, grab that. And we're going to go layer, merge selected again. So that's our middle tentacle. That's all sort of together now. So we just add that where we want it. So that looks pretty good. Let's now add some of our other tentacles. We've got one here on the left and I've placed this one, as you can see, behind that water. We've got our right tentacle here, which is coming from the right here. And also we've got one at the back here and also one coming around the back here and that's all of our tentacles all in place. We've got a little search light that I'll just put up here on the boat and move that just about into that black area and add a mask to that. And I'm just going to use my brush again. We can zoom in if you like. Just using my shift key to move around. Right and left bracket keys to make that brush a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to just blend that search light in a little bit there. Command zero to get back to the normal size. While I'm on my search light, let's add a pixel layer right on top and let's change the blend mode to add. Going to pick sort of a yellowy color, sort of in the yellows here, but sort of more towards the white, not completely yellow. So that's on top. I'm going to clip that to just this search light. So we've got that pixel layer, it's on add. Let's grab our brush, let's zoom in on that search light 
and let's start colouring just in this area here. So it looks like that search light is turned on. There we go. That is looking pretty good. So it looks like it's turned on. What I might do is make my brush a little bit bigger and we'll just add a little bit of brightness there. So now again on top of that search light, let's make that picture a little bit smaller, another pixel layer, and this is going to be our light beam. So let's come over here to our pen tool. Let's start on our search light here and draw a great big triangle all the way and then let's join it up. So we've got this triangle here and we're going to come up here and click on this selection. We're going to go back to that yellow but more of the white yellow. Come back up to the white again, more in this area here. And we're going to fill with our fill tool that section there. We're going to add a mask. So add a mask to this pixel layer. What we're going to do is grab our gradient tool here. We're going to start at the light and drag down. So it's brighter up in this area and it's sort of fading off in the middle there. So that looks pretty good. Let's get rid of those marching ants with a command D. And now on that, let's call that beam, we're going to add onto that layer a Gaussian blur. I'm just going to turn that up just until we see that blurring about there. Looks pretty good. So I'm happy with that search light. You can make that white or whatever color you want. So, so we might leave those in case we need to tweak them a little bit later. So I'm going to start now changing the mood of this picture a little bit. We'll do it on the boat first. So I'm going to come to the boat and I'm going to add another pixel layer on top. I'm going to take my color picker and pick sort of a darker blue in the ocean here. Maybe a little bit darker. Maybe something about that sort of blue for the ocean. And I'm going to fill that layer with that color. So I'm just going to fill that with that color blue. And now I'm going to clip that to my boat and change my blend mode to multiply and we might just bring that down to about 80%, 85% looks pretty good. Now this blue color that we've got here, we're going to add to our tentacles, our ocean and our sky. So I'm just going to copy this one, command J, and let's add it first to this first tentacle. Let's go again, command J, add it to this tentacle. You can see the tentacles going a bit of dark blue now. So we're going to add that to nearly all of our layers. So now you can see we've got that blue on all of these tentacles. We can just close this up. So you can see our layer stack now is getting fairly full. But what we're going to do is make sure I think we've missed the horizon wave. So let's grab one of those and command J and we've missed the horizon wave. So let's make sure we've got it on that as well. There we go. We've got it on the horizon wave as well. So you see I've got one of those blue colors on all of the layers. Back on to our boat, we're going to add yet again another pixel layer. This one we're going to change to add again and clip it to our boat. So we're down on our boat on this pixel layer now. We're going to go back to that yellow color or the lighter yellow color. Back to our brush, 25%. We're just going to add a little bit of glow where that light would be. I'm going to zoom all the way in, make my brush quite a bit smaller, just really small about there. And some of this light I think would be going along the top here so just hold my shift key down click hold my shift key down I might just put a little bit of light along there a little bit of light down here some light coming across here and all the way across and some of these little beams here will probably have some light on them on the inside here so I'm just holding my shift key down clicking once and just adding some of that light. OK, 
go back and now let's add a Gaussian blur. And now just let's blur that a little bit. About like that looks pretty good. Command zero, not looking too bad. While I'm here on that light as well that we've created, I'm gonna grab my brush. Just gonna make my brush a lot bigger now. Zoom in, let's see if we can make that window look like it is turned on in the background there as well. Brush a little bit bigger and a bit more glow there. Okay, we're not looking too bad. So now with all our tentacles, you know how we added these blue solid colors. What I'm gonna do on each of these now is add a mask. So on this one, add that mask, get our colors back to default. Going to drop my flow to about 10%. Still got that soft brush. Just going to add some light just along these tentacles here. Down the back here. This middle tentacle, I might move under our searchlight here, under our beam. So it's sort of capturing the beam there. I think we're looking pretty good. We've just got our boat to go. So let's come down to our boat, our rowboat here. I'm going to add a mask to that as well on that color. Same again, and I'm just going to add some color to that. We might bring the flow up a little bit. Our light beam hitting down there. Okay, we're happy with that. With our man up here, I'm going to add a pixel layer. I'm gonna do the blend mode again to add and clip that to my man. And then down here, we're gonna go that sort of yellowy color that we've been using. And I might drop the flow to about 10%. Sort of big brush, let's get some of that glow just on our man here. Not too bad about there. Grab our erase brush tool and just take some of that away from the back where it should be a bit darker. It's around here. Just have a play with this, see how you think you would like it. Maybe some lighter bits where that light is hitting. And then we may just put a Gaussian blur on that as well, just to just blur that a tiny little bit. Maybe about there. Okay, not looking too bad. So we've pretty much got all of our assets in place here now. So I might just darken our boat down a little bit. So let's come to our rowboat. Let's add a, an exposure on that and clip that just to the rowboat. And we might just darken that rowboat down a little bit. And we might do that to our man as well, just an exposure on our man. Clip that to our man and let's just darken him down a little bit as well, maybe about there. Okay, let's now, we've left one thing out and that's this waterfall up here. So I've got this picture of a waterfall. What we're gonna use this for is to see if we can make it look like some of this water is dripping off these tentacles as they're coming out of the ocean. So we're gonna add a mask. On the mask, we've still got our soft brush. We might take it up to 25% again. Brush a little bit bigger. Let's put that in place. Move that up here a little bit. Let's zoom in as well so we can see what we're doing. Back over here, make sure we clicked on the mask and make sure we've got our colors back to default. And let's just erase some of that and some of these harsh ed edges as well. We don't really want the harsh edges along here. Let's drop our flow all the way down to about five. Bigger brush. Let's just go over that. Sort of about like that. Maybe a bit more in those harsh edges here. Now 
not too bad. So let's add a few more of those. but we've got sort of the basic composite in place there. So in the end, we can add one more thing, which is going to be our selective color right on top there, just on the neutrals. I think I'm going to make that 30 on the cyan and about minus 15 on the yellows. Let's just have a look at that. Not too bad, I might just drop the opacity by to about 75. Let's have a look, that's pretty good. Okay, one more thing to do, you can either use your develop persona or your tone mapping persona. But first we need to go layer and merge visible. Just make one picture on the top here. Let's come over to our tone mapping. I always like the detailed one. Let's bring that compression all the way down, maybe the contrast a little bit as well, the exposure all the way down to about here. Let's play with the vibrance, bring that up a little bit. Can also add a little bit of yellow into it with your white balance and finish off with our curves down here, just with our S curve about there. Come up and hit apply. And there we go, everybody. That is my picture and my tutorial for this week. I know when you guys do this, you'll take a little bit more time with the waterfalls as they're coming off those tentacles. But I will include all of the pictures that I've used in the description below. And I'll also include the cutouts that I've used here on the Buy Me A Coffee site. You can go over there and grab those absolutely free. And if you would like to support my channel, you can also do that while you are there as well well. But until next time, I'm going to say to you, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video.